Hey everyone, if you saw my video from about a year ago, you created this Outlook data file right here. And uh, this was because of your company policy having an expiration after about a year of all your emails. So if you didn't see that video on how we created this Outlook data file, I'll put it in the card that's gonna pop up above or in the link below in the description. So for those of you that already created the Outlook data file and you wanna continually update your emails without having to re-download your entire mailbox, but just download new emails that are not in this data file, this video is for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on File, and then we click on Open and Export. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Import Export. And now it brings up your choices. And what you wanna do is you wanna export again to a file as we did a year ago, and click Next. And again, you could go to a comma separated value, but that's not gonna create an Outlook data file. Um, you know, comma separated value is something that imports well into Excel. But in this case, we'll go into an Outlook data again, and we'll click next. And what you wanna make sure is that you've got your name at the top selected and then include all subfolders. So don't go to where it says inbox, but go to your name at the top, include subfolders, and then click next. And this gives you the choice now to replace duplicates, which again is re-downloading the entire data file, the, every single email that may have already been done. Or in this case here, on the maintenance level, what you wanna do is do not export duplicate items. And it'll know based on the date and the subject and whatnot, and its algorithms not to download the duplicates. Um, this would be a nightmare in my, in my estimation about allow duplicates to be created. So I don't know any case that you'd want that. And then you click on finish and then you just kind of wait on it. Now, one of the things that we learned in that video from about a year ago was the fact that make sure you empty out your deleted folders. Uh, because when I did this uh, last year, I had about 2,800 emails that were in my deleted folder and it took a very long time to go ahead and download this. So now it's going much quicker. And once it's completed, um, you could go ahead and double check and look in your Outlook data file and see, but as you saw the numbers here change, so that, that's up to you on checking it out. But that's basically all that it takes to go ahead and uh, maintain that. And you could really do this like every month, every couple of months, depending on how often you wanna update your uh, Outlook data file. So with that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.